now our dear brother has been all washed and dressed and it's time to move him into the casket. So we will roll up the edges of the sheet again. And again, on uh, the count of three, lifting up him up way up high. One, two, three. So if, um, if your loved one is going to be lying in honor for a couple of days in the casket. You would want to line uh, the casket with some dry ice or techni ice, which is actually safer, around uh, the trunk of the body, and then place uh, one piece over his abdomen, because uh, that's where most of the body heat is. And then we would um, cover him up, if this side could unroll first. And then we, us. And then when it's time uh, to move the casket to, uh, um, into the car for transportation to cremation or burial, you'd want to put the top on. And this is an example of using a cardboard coffin that you can uh, paint and design any way that you want to, something that's really special to uh, the person who's died or is really significant to your family. Another option other than using a casket is a shroud. You might use this in a green burial, though there are some traditional burial grounds that will allow it. And in some places, uh, the body would be shrouded and then put in a casket if it was going to be cremated. This is the simplest form of shrouding. You use a queen or sing si uh, king size sheet, a flat bed sheet, natural fibers. So you want it to be all cotton or bamboo or silk or something, and four ties. The sheet is put on in a diamond pattern so that you have the four corners hanging off the sides. And you have it centered on the table as much as possible and the body centered in the sheet. Make sure the legs are together and the arms are straight and crossed over the body, hands over the abdomen. Begin the wrapping, take the bottom triangle and put it up over the feet and legs. And then the top one over the head and shoulders. Then you're going to take one side and wrap it quite tightly um, making sure you have as few creases as possible, quite tightly over the top of the body. And tuck it in on the other side. Then take the other side and wrap it over the body. And in this case, you're going to have to use your roll technique again, grabbing under the shoulders and the arm, or under the shoulders and the hip, rather. Roll over the body and tuck the sheet in tightly underneath. And then pull it out the other side.
Once that's done, then you start tying. You tie the feet first, just above the ankles. And you want it to be quite tight so that the legs don't move around. Next, you would tie around the head. So you're actually tying around the neck. Remember, this person is dead, so it's not going to hurt them. The next tie goes just above the knees. Just shuffle it underneath the body and tie it just above the knees. For the last tie, you need to roll the body again onto its side, so grabbing it by the shoulders and the hips, roll it over, and tuck at least half of the tie, as far as you can, in under the body and under that side. Let the body down again, and pull the tie out from the other side, kind of equalize it, and then tie it just above the wrist so that you're keeping the arms and the hands stable. Time of feelings, peace, release. While my short torn heart is healing, crossing my own thresholds as you journey beyond. Peace, release. Ever in the mother's arm, ever in the mother's arms, really.